It was an oasis in a food desert in South Minneapolis that was forced to find a new home. But after three years, the good grocer is ready to reopen its doors and renew its mission. Our Maury Glover got a sneak peek of the store's new digs and explains why they need your help to make it a success. This is the hub of the operation. We've got three checkout lanes. With just a couple of days to go into the Good Grocer's grand reopening. Incredibly excited about this. Founder Kurt Vickman is helping put the finishing touches on each street's newest neighbor. I feel a little bit relieved. It's been a long journey to get here. And so we're just anticipating this store opening on January 22nd. A little nervous about it, but excited. We first told you about the volunteer powered grocery store three years ago when it was forced to move from its original location on Lake Street because of the 35W reconstruction project. There's the good eatery. Since then, it has built a new home five blocks away at 27th and Nicollet. Where it will still be within walking distance for many of its customers who don't have cars. And this little pocket of Eat Street is kind of void of a full service grocery store in some ways, and so we feel like this is the perfect location for what we're trying to do as it relates to provide this community and this neighborhood with really some high quality groceries at a dramatically reduced price. New additions to the store include a produce department twice the size of the old one and a grab and go counter along with a food outlet where qualified customers facing food insecurity can buy staples for up to 50% off. We're really excited about this place. But it still needs 300 volunteers who get 20% off their groceries for two and a half hours a month to do everything from stock the shelves to work the cash register. This model allows people to come in to contribute their time and save a ton of money on their groceries in a way that's not just a handout, but it's really a hand up. The Good Grocer is on the first floor of a new 80-unit apartment building called the Good Dwelling, where the profits subsidize the lower prices at the store. And fresh coffee. In the hopes of making sure everyone in the surrounding neighborhood can feed their appetite for healthier foods. My hope and dream for this store is that it would be a force for good in people's lives, allowing them to eat more quality, natural foods at affordable prices. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9 News.